Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to do a new project. I will show you how easy it is to grow a pepper plant that you purchase from uh, any nursery. This method is much easier and faster than growing your own seeds because you save so much time. And it actually uh, doesn't cost very much at all. So I will list out all the items you will need and then we'll go through the entire process together and then I will track this progress and then I'll let you see the results so you know uh, exactly how this will turn out and then you can experiment this on your own. Today we're using a five gallon bucket but for this five gallon I'm only going to fill it up with three and a half gallon of water and the reason for that is because we're using a non-circulating method often referred to as the cracky method. For that we're using a six inch net cup it's listed there uh, as six inch and you can buy this at your local hydroponic store or you can go onto Amazon this should cost you about three fifty to five dollars and it fits perfectly on top of a five gallon bucket the next item you will need is a plant this is a ghost a buchilokia that I got from my local nursery and this cost me $1.49 so if you can find this uh, at your uh, nursery uh, buy in there they're very inexpensive um, sometimes you can even get two like here I got two but I'm just gonna leave them in there you can actually take this out and split them and you have two trees but I'm just gonna leave them in here and grow them just like this there are many advantages to buying uh, pepper plants or any plants at your nursery one is that look at the size of this plant it will take you about three months to get the plants to this size I mean it's already even fruiting and uh, the next is that it's been sitting at the nursery so it's been acclimated so you don't have to get it uh, in and out uh, to get it used to the Sun and so on so this plant is ready to go outside as soon as I put them in this bucket uh, if you go going indoor it works better but I'm gonna do this outdoor uh, as an as an experiment the next items you will need are your hydroponic nutrients, whichever brand you choose to use. I have here the General Hydroponics Flora Series, which is the three parts, micro, grow, and bloom. Uh, this is CalMag, and this is pH uh, down to uh, adjust your pH. This little thing here is very, very cool to have because it will ha allow you to measure exactly the amount you need to add each time this is a one teaspoon five milliliter so it's a very precise measure so I suggest go and get one of those and I'm gonna speed through this video because I already have another video on how to mix nutrients so if you want more details I'll provide the link and you can click on there okay so first thing we'll do is we'll start mixing our nutrients I've already put three and a half gallons of water in here so I went ahead and pH balanced the water as well so it's currently sitting at 6.3 I'm gonna add my nutrients then I'm gonna adjust it again I've already added two teaspoons which is 10 milliliter of calcium from the cow mag bottle because I want the plants to bloom quick because it's already blooming as you can see I'll show you right here it has buds on there already so I'm gonna mix this for the bloom always start with the micro that's suggested so we'll add three teaspoons in here and make sure you rinse it out very nice and clean before you add the next nutrient to that so after you add the nutrients you want to stir it up for about a minute or two before you add the next grow is next stir it up Then next is our bloom. And for bloom, I'm going to add a little bit more than the rest. So I'm going to add four instead of three. And there's many ways to do this. You can add more and adjust as you like. But um, just play around with the nutrients and see what works best for your plants. That's what I usually do. I just test around and find the right formula and that's what I use. All purpose is equal parts of everything and then for bloom I just add a, a little bit more bloom than the rest to promote more flowers okay now that we're done we want to adjust 
the pH one more time to make sure that it's on point from 5.9 to 6.5. So I'm going to use this meter here. Okay, it's currently sitting at 5.9, which is perfect. So we're ready to go. What we're going to do is we'll use this net cup here and we're just going to put this flat on top. And what we want is that the water level is slightly touching the bottom of this net cup. Then we'll take our plant. Make sure you clean the roots out really well to get rid of all the excess dirt that is attached to the roots. Because what we're going to do is we're going to keep this simple and we're simply going to transplant it just like this. Um, let's try to push the roots down a little bit. But that's it. We're going to leave the soil in there because I've done this many times before and it worked just fine. Uh, soil will change the pH of your water, but because the soil is confined in the container, so there's not going to be much of a problem. Uh, I've already rinsed it out and make sure that every, everything is nice and clean. So we're just going to place the plant in just like that. Very nice and simple. And it's very much like the double cup method where you lift it up and feed it hydroponic nutrients. Uh, this is basically the hydroponic nutrients is going to be fed right to the bottom of this container. And the plants eventually will shoot out more and more roots as it start to grow. And then the water level is going to drop. And once the water level drops, the root is going to send more down to reach to the lower water level. Check your pH every four to five days. Make sure it's always between 5.9 and, and 6.5. So I will follow this progress and take you to the whole thing. Now this is optional and if you have clay pebbles like these, put it around the container just to keep it stable. And if you don't have it, that's fine. Since I have it, I'm going to use it. Eventually the root is going to drop down and it's going to wrap really tightly around the net cup and it'll help itself stabilize. But for now, we'll just put this here. Okay, we're pretty much done here. And uh, one last thing, if you want to check you just, just lift this container up. Okay, today is seven days later and the plant is doing great. The leaves are much greener now because it's getting fed very well. Uh, when it was in the nursery, the cup was pretty dry so it started to yellow. Let me show you the root system. Check that out. So more roots are sprouting out towards the nutrients level. And eventually when more roots shoot out at the bottom, the plant is going to take off and grow much, much faster. So that is the seven days update. All right, today has been 14 days exactly. The plants is doing very, very well. It has some significant growth now since we first transplanted in here. It's starting to love the system and check this out. I'll show you the roots here. Look at that. So I have changed this nutrients out once and the recommended time to do this is every two weeks and the reason for that is uh, I, these are outside and the container is a little bit uh, translucent as you can see so sometimes algae could form and so if you have a way to cover these up then it'll be much better then that way algae will not grow and also you want to make sure that you check the pH level every four to five days because it could jump up a little bit. But uh, yeah, the plant is doing great. And one last thing, when you change the nutrients, do not submerge the roots completely. Allow the roots to touch it, but do not submerge it back to the original level because this is a non-circulating method and the roots need room to breathe, so leave a gap and see as I put the roots down the, the net cup is no longer touching the water level only the string of roots down there are touching it so 
Uh, that's just basically how this method works. And uh, occasionally you can come out and sort of shake it like this. That way the water can get all mixed up and bounces onto the cup here and get everything wet. That'll work as well. But do not submerge the roots completely or your plants will drown. So as you can see, this method is very easy to do. Um, I highly suggest you try this out. And uh, to save time, go to a nursery and buy a plant. That way you don't have to spend four to five weeks to get the plant ready for transplant. Anyway, that's all. I hope you guys liked this video. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. And if you have any questions, please post them below. And also, please make sure to check the description section. I will post some information there as well. Thank you for watching.